Good morning, it's Mark Wiens. It's another beautiful day in Munich, Germany. And today we're gonna explore more of Munich, eat some German food, and visit some of the most famous attractions within Munich as well. So stay tuned, this is gonna be another fantastic day in Munich. It's about 9 a.m. right now and we're on our way first to eat at a bakery. There's this really famous uh, baked pastry and it's just up ahead. Oh, here it is, we made it. It's called Cafe Freehut and they have just a little inside section or maybe they have an upstairs too. But anyway, it's such a nice day and they have such a nice patio here that this is the perfect place to sit. Two of the schmaz noodle. Okay, two schmaz noodle please. And that's what you gotta come here to eat. It's on its way, and also a coffee. There are these little, these, these rounds of dough that go into the deep fryer, and somehow they kind of they deep fry and puff up into an almost inner, inner tube shape. And then they're so buoyant, they float on top of that oil and then flips them over just once uh, so that it's golden crispy, fried to golden crispy perfection. And it is served, yeah, right out of the oil. It is so hot, it's so fresh. And she said that you can put uh, sugar on it if you want, or I think you can just eat it as is. Mm -hmm. Well, that's really good because it's so fresh. Crispy and gooey. You know what that tastes like? It's very similar. No, oh, in Thai, it's a Chinese, the Chinese savory donuts. No, it tastes very similar to that. It's not, it's not sweet. A little bit salty to contrast the, the flavor. That needs to be followed with coffee. That completes the, the experience. I guess I will try it with a little bit of sugar on it. Just on this on this edge for now, because I actually really love it with no sugar. All right. Oh, and I want to get some of that, some of that center. You can see that, that center is kind of extra gooey. I think what I really like about this are the textures, because it's kind of, it's crunchy and gooey and it's very fresh, and that's what makes it good. I thought the cafe is a little expensive for what we had, but it's a nice little place. And we're now gonna do some more eating. There's a, a farmer's market slash open air everything market, especially food market, right, right across the street from the cafe. So that's where we're gonna go next to eat some more. This is one of the centers for food lovers in Munich. It started off originally as a farmer's market and still you'll find lots of fresh vegetables, organic fruit and vegetables, and really beautiful looking produce as well. Uh, but it's also more than that, there's a lot of cooked food here as well. You can find some gourmet food, you can find things like pickled things and preserved things as well as lots. This is, this is what you call a worst a sausage paradise and then if you go right in the center there is a beer garden where you can sit and hang out and just enjoy the atmosphere but this is a fantastic market and this is a place you have to come to if you love food in Munich there are a lot of different sausage options at this market. You could eat, you could eat sausage for days. Uh, but I chose to come to this place right here uh, because I saw a sign they have a type of sausage that I was most looking forward to eating here in Munich. And it's, uh, it's the white sausage and it's a Bavarian sausage specialty. Uh, but this is a traditional sausage that is typically, from what I understand, consumed in between breakfast and lunch. So it's 10 a.m. right now, this is perfect sausage time. Break these guys apart. Oh, oh, that casing. And you have to, oh, the, the sponginess of that. You have to dip it in the sweet mustard. Oh, that's a juicy sausage. Oh, it's really like, oh, more flavors come as you keep on chewing. The texture is kind of almost like like airy, almost like foamy. Um, it's like almost like whipped tastes. And then it has a, a saltiness to it plus an herb flavor. And then it has quite a quite a tight casing. Mm. 
I can tell immediately why this is such a popular um, in between breakfast and lunch sausage because it's so it's so soothing. Mm -hmm. They know how to make pretzels. Perfectly crispy all around. And I love that that those rocks of salt on there. It's a wonderful combination. Okay, that was delicious. Now on to the next place. By the way, one more tip. If you come here right at this time, it's 10.30 a.m. It's perfect, all the shops are open, all the food is fresh, and it's not that busy. But I was here another day at about noon or 1 p.m. and it was just packed and lines were long out of every restaurant. So come here early and you will be, you will be feasting. Okay, here it is the Lebekas, and I am a, a mustard kind of guy, going in for the, for a good squeeze. And let that bread, let that bread push it out. Oh, beautiful. This is another just classic Bavarian meat treat, and this is like, this is sausage in a totally different form and shape. Uh, that, that, that's just the perfect ratio. That, that makes me very happy to see the meat just, just overwhelming the bun like this. That is a mustard, mustard mustache. I love it when you have to take a giant bite just to reach bread. It's really good. It's really, really tender in texture. And it's so smooth and so dense. It's, it's just like meat density. I wanna tell you a really quick little story. When I was about five years old, my family and I, we lived in France for one year. And my parents and my sister, they all loved to eat baguettes and ham. And for some reason at that age, I, I don't know, I don't know why, but some reason I didn't really like ham back then. Now I love ham. And so I remember my mom and dad, they would always buy me a pack of bologna. And so this, uh, so I ate a lot of bologna when I was in France, uh, when I was a little kid. This brings back memories. This tastes like, it, it tastes similar to bologna. That brings back some, some great childhood eating memories. Wow, that tastes great after that amount of sausage at this market is really nice and it would be a great place to come if you wanna try some, they have, they have the full selection of classic German Bavarian food and it's a nice place to relax. But later this afternoon, I'm gonna go to a different beer garden. So we're gonna head on, we're gonna proceed onwards from here for the day. I wanted to go up to the top of the tower at St. Peter's, but it's a two hour wait. So I don't think we're gonna wait around, but I'll just go take a look inside of St. Peter's. pretty amazing inside the church, especially if you look up and you see the ceilings, the paintings on the ceilings. Right next to the market and next to St. Peter's is Marienplatz. It's a beautiful public square and just the architecture is impressive. Even though this was the center of Munich starting way back in 1158, it's still the center of Munich and it seems like all the roads kind of lead to Marienplatz here. And it's, it's really a, an amazing sight to see when you're in Munich. From here, I'm on my way to go eat lunch, and I'm going to what is easily the most famous of all beer hall restaurants in Munich. This place that we're going to is really a, a living culinary museum. walk around the corner and all of a sudden there it is, the Hof Brauhaus, a, an institution with unparalleled beer history in Munich. And this is gonna be my first time here. Walk in, this is like a, a huge, I know this is a gigantic restaurant and I think they have an upstairs level, 
Uh, this is the downstairs. I know they have a beer garden as well. They just have multiple. Oh, and there's going to be a band playing as well. Maybe we should sit on the downstairs level so we get a glimpse of the, so we can hear the band playing. But, wow. I'm just taking a quick walk around before the food comes. Uh, but one of the most interesting, fascinating things about this beer hall is that many, there are many locals that are so dedicated to Hof Brauhaus and so loyal that they store their beer mug here. So you can see all of the locks. It's like a, it's like a, a metal lockers for, for beer mugs, which are all locked up. And so you can, if you come here frequently, you can keep your beer mug here and then you have your own mug when you come here. Citrusy. This is what you can call Munich on a plate. I had to go for the roast pork knuckle and it's the whole knuckle and you can, that is just amazing how crackly the skin is and it comes with a potato dumpling and then doused in gravy and then I also got a side order of white asparagus. I didn't want to leave Munich without trying white asparagus because it's, it's in season right now and it looks fantastic. You can pick this up like a drumstick and just start eating it. Look at that amount of meat. That is a chunk right there. But I'll actually take my knife and kind of hack into, oh, all oh, the crackle. Oh, all oh, the crispiness of that is just insane. And peel back that meat. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks like some skin and some fat underneath there. And maybe this is more, more meaty over here on this side. Oh, wow, that's just, that is just solid, solid meat. Let me go in with my fork here. <laughs> I will, I will uh, cut off a piece and then that's meat and then this is some of the crackling that I, that I broke off on that first bite. So I wanna get it all together in this first bite with gravy. All right. salty. It has kind of a ham taste to it and it's so crunchy. And then that's a, that's like a very rich meaty gravy on there. Yeah, it's really, really gooey and really kind of sticky. And oh yes, this is going to be both meat and skin all together. Look at that. dip in the gravy. Look at that crackling piece right there. That is pork lovers dream come true, seriously. Oh, it's so good. And the, the meat is tender, but it's not like melt in your mouth tender. It has some good texture to it. Okay, now over to try the white asparagus. And it's served with potatoes as well as hollandaise sauce. Quick dip into the sauce. It's my first time to taste white asparagus. It's really juicy and has a very silky texture. You know how you know how regular asparagus has that kind of snap to it? This has more of like a juicy, silky texture. Mm, it's really good. If you take a big bite, it's a little bit stringy, but then it sort of dissolves at the same time. Really good. It has a natural sweetness to it too. Break this bone off. There's still some good meat down there. You've got a lot of different textures going on. There's some rubber bits, some elasticy bits, some soft, tender, meaty bits, and then that crunch from the skin. This is really a uh, 
it's like a palace or a castle of salty fried meat and beer. And this is really an institution in Munich. You can come here to eat and come here to hang out, but also you can come in here just to, it's, it's really like a, like a living museum of Munich. And this is definitely a must visit when you're in Munich. Not only if you love food, but just to see this unique culture in Munich. It's like a totally different world in there. Micah's taking his afternoon nap, but we are walking over towards the English Garden, which is one of the, the main central parks in Munich, and that's the next thing we're doing today. That was a fantastic walk. We made it to the English Garden. I never thought I was gonna to come to Germany to watch surfing. It's called the Eisbach Wave, and it is a little portion of white water uh, that comes rushing from the bridge. It's pretty awesome to watch. This is really, really amusing to see and really fun to watch. And this is, a, uh, it's, all of the English Garden is extremely beautiful. And actually, I was just reading about the English Garden, and it's one of the world's largest public parks of any city in the entire world. surfing was really fun to watch and it's actually just a, a wave of rushing water. I have done, it's called the flow house or the flow rider a couple times. It's like a, a fake uh, wave that you, you surf on and that's exactly what it is but on a much stronger scale. We've been walking for maybe about an hour and we made it to the beer garden which is right in the middle of English gardens. But I have thoroughly enjoyed this walk through the park. It really is, it has to be one of the world's greatest summertime parks. And, oh, here it is. And right now the band just started playing over in that central gazebo pagoda over there. Oh, I wanted to eat this thing. This is what everybody eats, see? Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. I had to go for another classic Munich mug. It is really refreshing. Something that I've been wanting to try is this dish right here, which is a, it's a type of mixed salad with onions, and I think normally you eat it with pretzel, I think. And I think you can kind of scoop up some of, the, some of the salad. I'm not actually sure exactly what it is, but I've just been seeing a lot of people eat it, and it looks good. And with some of the red onions. Oh, or a lot of the red onions. Cheesy, and then I think it's a cheese dip. Mmm, it's really, really rich. It's really thick and sticky, and has a little bit of a. Oh yeah, it's definitely cheese. It has a little bit of a nutty taste as well. Mm. A pretzel will no longer be complete without this dip. And this, he said, these are beef sausages. And be, they're 
there are these, this is a really long and skinny sausage. <laughs> and he said it's a lower, it's a, a bit of a leaner sausage and I got it with sauerkraut. It's a pretty dense sausage and you can tell that it's quite low in fat compared to other versions at least. Um, it's flavorful, it's awesome with that mustard, and I love the sauerkraut. I think this right here is what I love so much about Munich. Being able to hang out in the garden, hang out with friends and family, enjoy the social atmosphere. In the summer, the trees are just absolutely beautiful. The food is very hearty, and I think I'm gonna end the day right here. We're gonna just hang out, and then after this, we're just gonna head back to the apartment. So I'm gonna finish this food tour and this day of sightseeing in Munich right now. Thank you very much for watching. I'll leave all the information about everything we did today and everything I ate in the description box so you can get all the details. And I want to say a big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from Munich, and I'll see you on the next video.